Hello, Virgo. Let's go ahead and take deep breaths. We're going to slow it down. I think that you may be one having to slow down at this time and really having to focus in on focusing in on what you're feeling. Taking time to appreciate the moment here. Every, every minute of it, every moment of it, Virgo. For you, it's comfy season. For you, it's in reflection, in the dark, perhaps. And I don't mean that like in a negative way. I mean that in like you closing your windows or your curtains and making it dim a little bit so that your environment is and what feels more at home and is more you feel yourself to be more in comfort um i'm getting a lot of this energy of you just really having to understand the agony that you have um you've been experiencing going into sagittarius season Sagittarius season is to make you become more aware of your mind's eye, Virgo. Not that you are not already, but it is also one to pay attention to. I'm getting this energy of like you needing to understand what it is that you're seeing, but not having to take it so personal. Sometimes our Virgos go into this roller coaster like as soon as they feel something and as soon as they see something on the outside and it triggers them. We go from up all the way up and then all the way back down. It like shoots you back down is what I'm getting. Virgo, you represent what feels and looks real. Self-deception is no way to live life. And we always wonder why people choose to stay in it. And perhaps that's one of the things that holds you back sometimes. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but that can make sense to some of you. Um, I'm getting like suggesting to take a step back, take baby steps, be comfort, be a comfort to yourself. Um, knowing that, sorry, I thought I'm not moving the video or me, the camera knowing that you are able able and capable of giving yourself the comfort okay opinions are the lowest form of knowledge i message to our virgos going back to what i was saying about sagittarius season is to make you become more aware of your mind's eye and i think this is also having to yes step back and see it all for what it is and why it's happening to you. Three, three, three on the timestamp. Your energy, I'm picking up Virgo, is to pay attention to because you are stepping into even more of like, I'm getting your, you're tuning in more with your emotions. You're aligning yourself with your purpose. You're making dues. You are reflecting on a lot about yourself because you are also seeing other people for the way that they are. And then you are going in and questioning, am I like this? Message to some of our Virgos here. I feel like Collectively, we are all trying to be in alignment with our purpose and our career. I'm getting that um, energy. But it's also like passion and what makes you feel like you're in your element. You know, spending some time getting to know ourselves in our own time. Whew. Heavy on, be a comfort to yourself, Virgo. 
If I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment, for sure. I see you, you see me for who I am, Virgo. So why don't people see you for who you are? Ooh. Also, I want to add like, I feel like for a lot of you Virgos this year during the holidays, it's comfy season. Like for you, it's like you get up and you wear your favorite sweater. You've been, re you've been wearing this sweater for days, probably even a week and you don't care. You just like get up. Um, I'm getting this image of like your family is in town and they're all downstairs and you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're thinking of what to wear, but you always end up wearing that same sweater. That's so cute. Five, five, five on the timestamp. Um, I love that image. I'm going to drink some water one second. But that is a, a message for some of you guys. Wear your favorite sweater. Going back to what I was saying about you representing what feels and looks real, self-deception is no way to live life and you always wonder why people stay in it. That's too many cards. You always wonder why people choose to want to be in deceit. That's very heavy and very deep because we do live in a world where you know, we are heavy in perception, our perception, how we see ourselves, is what we see on the outside. Whatever it is that we attract, whoever we are on the inside is exactly what we are going to attract at any minute, any moment. Page of Swords, I have justice. You are one to always stay true with your path and staying true to what you say and sometimes that can be very misleading to some. This is what I'm getting for you, um, for some of you Virgos. You don't mean to do this to people, but I feel that people take this as a threat. Um, heavy, heavy on perception. Because how you see yourself is exactly how you are with other people. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. It's um it's who you are. And some people are just not okay with who you are, Virgo. Some people are just not knowing of the truth and isn't familiar of the truth and is not comfortable with the truth and is never oh, is never ever going to be comfortable with the truth and that is something to um for them to take care of and not you is what i'm getting and like meanwhile while you do you give yourself the compassion and the the work you, you already know the work, the inner work that you Virgos have to heed to, like to, um, what's the word? And I don't want to use the wrong word, but like very careful on what you say, very careful in what you do, um, uh, very careful in what, and, and taking actions every step of the way. you knowing where you are going with yourself every step of the way and that you may be one like okay yeah preparing for the worst you're preparing for the worst at this time you are it just weighs too heavy on you and you feel like you have to be the one to take on and take the pick it up and take take on and pick it up and and be that balance for somebody but then you start to question is anyone going to give me that balance too right you have justice here i feel that for a lot of our virgos we are screaming inside 
And that feels very heavy for me also. I feel that very heavily for you, Virgo. You are trying so hard to just keep attracting the good and only the good. You try so hard to just keep attracting more comfort, more ease, loyalty, happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Exactly. Boom. You are in trust with yourself in this journey that you're in. And there may be a lot of energies around you that is perhaps saying things and addressing you in a certain way and putting you in the spot or gaslighting or just some things that they're saying that does not give you the comfort and it makes you question a lot of, it makes you question about who these people are in your life and what is the purpose of them being in your life? Do they even give you the value that you need and that you give just as much? You start to question that people are and what feels like people are approaching you in a different way, but it does not, there's, there's something about it that you don't feel easy about going into this reading i was thinking should i do this reading sitting on the couch completely comfortable and i love my i love going into readings where i can just like sit and be in comfort and <laughs> i'm getting a lot like this is where you are virgo like this is where you want to be you may have a lot of people around you talking at you, directly at you, and your mind could be somewhere else. Perhaps there has been a lot of things that you have repressed, some things that has been completely suppressed, and you're finding yourself in comfort. You're finding yourself to be more in comfort, heavy, heavy on that. And I suppose Sagittarius season is giving you that push to see yourself in that light, see yourself in this um, even more expansive place. And you're wondering, does anyone see me up here? You're wondering, does anyone see me, period. You're wondering, does anyone, am I seen as I am? Um, as you go through this journey of enlightenment, I think you become even more, I'm getting the word cold, Virgo. You can, you can see it in your eyes, you can see it in the way you move, you can see it in the way you look at people. And I'm getting like, it's like you pick up on deception first before you pick up on the truth. Like you pick up on others' deception, then, then picking up their true self first. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting this feeling of like you're seeing the world as it is and everything that it is and, and how everyone moves and talks and speaks and uses their words and their actions and how they they just move their motion and then you start to wonder i wonder if people feel the realness in them just as much as i do and then it takes you back again to what we were talking about earlier about self-deception why do people hold on to self-deception? And why do I see it differently? You're needing to take a break, Virgo. I think you're wanting to, to vent. You're wanting to speak your truth. You're wanting to also 
find balance that you need. And I think in you having to find that comfort, you are giving yourself that balance. But at the same time, you do also have a lot to say. I'm getting like, it's not my fault that I have to sit here and, and look at the world as it is. The Empress. It's not my fault that I, I got to sit here and look at what everyone else is doing and I'm seeing it from my lens and it's not my fault that I'm seeing it from my lens but do you see yourself from your lens? I think that I'm all, I'm also feeling for Virgos you're you're just wanting to take a break from people and from the world who also makes you feel like You're just not worthy enough. I'm getting this feeling of like you being very disappointed. You're very disappointed at the world. You're very disappointed at things and people and their actions. And then you start to get sad. It's like that roller coaster again where you do that roller coaster where you're completely happy. And then when something triggers you, it's like you're completely back down. And you're disappointed. And we don't know how long you're disappointed for until you're not disappointed anymore. And then it's just like that cycle of disappointment and then I'm good, disappointment and then I'm good. And then it's like, it's just trapped in there and you forget that you're actually not speaking up and expressing it. You're just kind of going into that cycle, right? There's a lot of disappointment. There's a lot of trauma. And a lot that, a lot, a lot of what you are doing for yourself is exactly what you need to do. Take that as it resonates for a lot of you Virgos. It's not for anyone, but for yourself. And if no one else understands this part of you, well, then that's just way too bad. <laughs> because Virgo, it's like, you stay true to your path. You stay true to yourself for a reason because it gets you to the next level. But for some reason, people see it as a threat. People see it as something, a way to, it's like this feeling of malevolence, right? Ugh, get out of here. I don't like that. And you find yourself bringing yourself back into balance because you get a lot of people to judge you and criticize you for the things that you do. But you stay so strong and the only the only reason why is because you stay so strong and loyal to what you what you do, taking you up and leading you up to what you want. And I feel that there may be energies on the outside really looking at it and being like, that's all ego, that's all pride. When It is all just trauma. <clears throat> and what comes of it, Virgo, at the end of it, every time you know you do good, coming out of that, you still, you still do good, even though you don't feel good around people because they make you feel not good. <laughs> but here you are waking up to a new day, Virgo, and you keep yourself on this path of happiness because you know it's the right one. Because you know it's going to take you to the next level. <sighs> heavy, heavy uncomfort, Virgo. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. <sighs> Happy holidays. Um, if you are one without a family today, I am with you. If you are one without, if you are one feeling lonely today, I am with you. I'm sending you so much comfort and love and energy and good energy. Um, Virgo, I feel for you so much and I love you guys so much. And I know that at times when you feel like you're in disappointment, you just feel like you're in disappointment and you stay there forever. And perhaps maybe the world is reflecting back to you what is not real. 
And to you, that's just not cool. That's not. Because you are the opposite of that. You are, in fact, the opposite of what the world is. And the world is chaos. You know what I mean? I love you guys so much. I will see you guys on the next. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm doing this on Thanksgiving Day. Oh my God. Do you guys know that I've always thought Thanksgiving was on the 24th? Is that weird? I'm just weird. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys in the next. Take care of yourselves, Virgo. I love you guys so much.